people in the world who are so sick or so angry that they sometimes hurt other people. And they're usually the ones who end up in the news. But when we get sad and angry, you and I, we know what to do with our feelings so we don't have to hurt other people. When I was a boy and I would hear about something scary, somebody getting badly hurt or something like that, I'd ask my parents or my grandparents about it. And they would usually tell me how they felt about it. In fact, my mother would try to find out who was helping the person who got hurt. Always look for the people who are helping, she'd tell us. You'll always find somebody who's trying to help. So even today, when I read the newspaper and see the news on television, I look for the people who are trying to help. You know, my mother used to say, a long time ago, whenever there would be any really cat catastrophe that was on the, in the movies or or on the air, she would say, always look for the helpers. There, were, there will always be helpers, you know, even just on the sidelines. That's why I think that if news programs could make a conscious effort of showing rescue teams, of, of showing who, uh, medical people, anybody who is coming into a place where there's a tragedy, to be to be sure that they include that. Because if you look for the helpers, you'll know that there's hope. 